Okay, uh, we got the S250 uh, pushing snow with it and it just all of a sudden died. Uh, it does need a new battery. That's part of the problem. The other problem was the fuel. There wasn't getting any fuel. This is the way I got it into the shop. Uh, you see I got a check valve right there. That's the stock one. And I put in a, uh, another one just to verify that the check valve was working or not. Uh, this check valve, what happened was the fuel filter is right there. And I went ahead and took the fuel filter off. It was three quarters full, that's about it. So obviously we're out of fuel. Uh, followed the line back down. Took this line off the end of this bulb right here. Took it off and tried priming it again of course it was an old one and it uh, uh it and of course in the winter time it's really hard hard old rubber so went ahead and got that squeezing and nothing was coming out so went ahead and took the bulb off sorry take the bulb off and then blew the air into that line couldn't hear anything at the time so I thought, well, maybe the gauge is bad. So went ahead and got five more gallons of fuel dumped in there and blew back in the line and nothing. Uh, I could hear it bubbling, but I couldn't get any fuel coming out. Tried pressurizing the actual fill tube, nothing. Uh, no fuel was coming out. That was with the bulb off, just the hose itself with that bulb off. And so I wasn't getting anything. So I went ahead and made this and got it up into the shop. Uh, it worked, it got it up there, I didn't care. Anyway, we're gonna see if we can find out what's wrong with this thing. I'm guessing a pickup tube, uh, we'll see. Uh, but this is an S250, two speed. Okay, now we're gonna see if we can get you the actual footage. I've never seen any footage of this anywhere that I've found. Uh, this is we're gonna see if we can see if I can show you where the tube is and what it looks like and where you're where you're dealing with for uh, space. Uh, but this is the this is the right side. There's the fuel uh, fill. There's that inspection panel. Just tore it off, and we'll see if I can show you where it's at. Uh, I got the arms up on this one, cab up just for more light, easier access. But here you go. See what see what I can do for you. That red wire, I tied that little red wire on the hose that needs to get taken out. So there's that red wire. And that's on the hose. And you can see it goes down to that 90. Okay, well I'm going to see if I can get you some pictures or video of uh, where that hose is. Because I, I haven't found any pictures or video of anything of where that hose would be. Um, this is this is the right side of the unit. Uh, I got it up in the air. I got the hydraulic stand on it right there and the cabs up. Uh, there's your fuel fill. You're gonna need air guns to blow all that stuff out because that tank is just covered with a typical bobcat. But this is your inspection plate on your right side. On the right side. Uh, I put a red wire on the hose I need to get taken out uh, for the suction line. So you'll see that red wire, I'll see if we can show you that, and then where it goes down to that 90. And then you'll see the fuel sending unit with the two wires, I think two wires, three wires sticking out of it. Uh, it's between the hydrostat part and the sending unit, where that 90 is. We'll see what I can do for you. There's that red wire. And there's there's your 90, there's your sending unit. And that's the hose you're looking for with that red wire on it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's a pain. Uh using your left hand on the right side or your right hand on the left side or right hand on the right side it's whatever you can to do it 
I ended up using that pry bar once I got it up there a little bit because that's some old brittle stuff. Um, yeah, it, it's out. Um, you can kind of see the, the tube right there. That tube, uh, I'll see if I can show you, but when I, I put a stud inside the the hose end where that barb was. This is where the barb was. Uh, I put a stud in there and then I put this this on the end of it to pull it through this way when I get the new hose and everything uh, I put that back on there like that and then just pull it back down uh, does somebody help me pull that back out uh, but here is focus on it here's what we got there's your your steel 90, your rubber grommet, and we got nothing. That's, let me get a better picture. There we go. That's what it looks like. Nothing on it. So you're going to take that apart even further for you. Now, before I take it apart, I was going to show you, shoved this rubber grommet back on uh, all the way. Uh, you can kind of see there's a little bit different you can see a little clamp on that hose the hose is like brown and then the clamp is there it's mostly clamp right there it's green uh, yeah that's where the hose is it's got old brittle fell in there so we'll see if we can take this the rest of the way apart and, you know, don't need to save it for nothing we get new stuff I guess uh, plan on putting a new line and new grommet. Probably, I don't know. This, this 90 can't be that much. Might as well go back in new. It's got about 3,000 hours, 3,000 plus hours. So I guess I don't know if they've ever had a new one in it before or not. But uh, maybe that's the first one. That's how long they last, I guess. All right. Okay, so there's the old line. I got the new parts already. Talked to Bobcat and see what they usually do. Uh, I got a new bulb for it. Uh, there's the part number. Maybe he's interested in it. Uh, so there's a new bulb. Um, they give you this hard plastic tube. I'm guessing the old tube, the way they were talking, is like a, you know, well, kind of like that stuff I used for the tracer line just kind of that see-through rubbery stuff the way they were talking about it but this is that hard plastic this is what they're using now um, they never put a new 90 on it basically they just cram it on there best they can they say so we're gonna see how that goes uh, got the new rubber grommet too so we'll see if we can get that old one taken apart and get all the new stuff back on Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, that's what it looks like when it gets pushed on. Make sure you put this rubber grommet on first. That's what I did anyway. I took some emery cloth, kind of cleaned up some of the corrosion on there. But uh, yeah, just put this on the floor and then just pushed this tube on. That wasn't too bad. Got some new hose too because I'm not going to take it apart for that again. Uh, I went a little bit longer with the hose just so I can get that bulb a little bit easier to access to it. Um, that old stuff coming off, that's, there you go. Yeah, it's just, just get a screwdriver under there and pry it out and she pops right off. So not much of a clamp and not very much hose left. Wasn't any good, so. All right, let's start putting her back into the bobcat.
Okay. Uh, I think I told you guys to put that grommet on first and then put that pickup tube on. What well, I tried it. I could not get it for anything. I uh, went ahead and took the grommet back off, left the pickup tube on, and put the grommet back in the tank and it went right in. Then fed the pickup tube through that grommet and got as far as I could by hand. Then underneath, this is that tool I used uh, for the, I put it on the top of that 90 and went under the hydrostat with the point up here. Basically pushed down right in here on that 90 and with a little bit of, I put a little bit of axle grease on it just to get it in there. So yeah, it popped right in. So yeah, put the grommet in first, get it lubed up, then uh, put your 90 in and just kind of reach under there under the hydrostat and just, it plops right in. Had no problem whatsoever. So yeah, it worked out really good. A lot easier than I thought it was after I put the grommet in. I fought for a while with the whole thing assembled, so don't do that. Put the grommet in first, then put your 90 and everything through it. All right, well, let's see if it works. Got the new pickup tube in there. I got the, uh, I ended up getting just an even 36 inches of tube. Uh, new bulb, there's an arrow. Make sure you know which way it goes. The arrow should point up towards the pump way up and to the pump uh, I got the new filter on so we'll see uh, maybe you can see that or not we'll see if we can prime it just grab your primer button like that and start squeezing it we'll see if we can get some fuel coming out oh yeah there we go that's a good sign Get a wrench and we'll take this off. We'll see if we can get the air bubbles out. Okay, get a wrench. We'll loosen this up. You can see that little bleed hole. There's that bleed hole right, right in there. So let's see if we can get filters on. Filters tight. See if we can get some fuel coming out of this. Okay, so we're gonna get the air out of it. That's looking promising. Well, that's pretty much sums it up. Uh, went and fired it up after putting in the new bulb right there. Running a new line, got the new hose going back there. The 90 the grommet everything the pickup tube everything's back in there put a new fuel filter on uh put the date and the hours on it, it helps anybody that's going to be fixing it for you kind of know gives you an idea how long you've been running the machine yeah fired it up and she runs like a dream so got the new battery in it uh perfect went in gamer and oil change too so anyway that's about it uh, if you guys like the video, uh, need anything, other pictures or something like that, let me know. I'd be glad to help because I love getting this stuff figured out. And uh, especially not finding anything, I might as well make one. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you got any comments, something I should have changed or something I should have done different, uh, let me know. I appreciate it. Thanks.